Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Stormworks Build and Rescue. And uh, today we are having um, a showcase of the submarine. So uh, from some time now I wanted to make this uh, review about this uh, submarine I made. It's one of uh, my most popular designs. In the Steam Workshop, uh, I will uh, have a link in the description below, so you can download it if you want. I recently I made uh, some updates for those of you who, who have it already, and here we are showing two vehicles, right? The submarine and the submersible. And the difference between a submarine and a submersible is that the submersible is uh, it depends on a mothership uh, for recharging. So in in this case, I call the the small one the submersible because it only works on electrical power. The submarine, on the other hand has uh, both electrical and diesel power so in principle the, um, the submarine can uh, recharge the submersible or um, I have a catamaran mothership that also can recharge the submersible and this is done through docking so if you want to know more about docking how to dock ships in Stormworks, I suggest you watch um, my video, I, I did a video about that. Uh, but let's now focus on the submarine. As you can see, it's not um, very big, uh, it's a relatively small submarine, and as I said, it uh, works on uh, diesel and electric. And this is basically how real uh, submarines work unless um, they are nuclear of course um, but the problem the, the reason why you um, you would want diesel and electric on a submarine is because when the submarine is, is, is underwater it cannot um, uh, have a uh, diesel engine working right because the diesel engine uh, needs uh, oxygen and uh, oxygen would be um, scarce underwater and the other thing is that it needs to to have exhaust right to to um to get rid of the carbon dioxide that it generates so that's why we uh, need both so when the when the submarine is uh, in this mode like it's uh, um, above water or floating or with um, with the um, snorkels or the chimneys uh, above water then it can work uh, with diesel and as you can see here I, I have um, a helm so I can drive the submarine from here uh, we would need to start it but also we need to switch from from diesel power to from electric power to diesel so that's not something i i've um, done yet let's open here also i need uh, to well in principle also um, this is the this is the like the bridge of the of the ship right now uh, i have like the front of the of the submarine is not closed we have this um, nice window here usually in in military submarines this uh, the front part is filled with a sonar and other sensors and this is also because uh, a military submarine uh, don't want to be detected so if you have like this um, bridge here 
you always run the risk to be spotted because the lights from the bridge will be seen from outside and here you can see that I have like uh, this um, this place where we can see the the ballast so this um, all these sections you see lighten up and the, also the ones that are not lighting up are um, ballast tanks they take water so uh, the submarine will will submerge right and currently the ones that are light uh, turn on blue they these are the ones that are filled and i can control the tanks uh, through all these controls here right I, uh, the the bottom uh, buttons are the pumps if the pumps are on by the way I don't need these pumps on anymore because uh, the they are full the tanks and these gauges here are uh, displaying how much the tanks are filled so these are the bottom tanks and this one are the top tanks here you can see that there is this electric um, signal here this means that I'm running on um, electric now electricity and this is the the diesel indicator uh, when so when I switch to diesel then this one will light up and all these are uh, to keep an eye on the engines I have two engines um, and here I can control the, the electric throttle and from here I can control the diesel throttle also we have some small propellers that can be independently control um, through these uh, thrusters here okay so let's take a look at the rest of the submarine and the rest of the compartments here we have the flood room from this room you can go um, underwater diving uh, and the way we do this is that uh, this room uh, can be flooded with water entirely and then you can go outside through that hatch back here we have the uh, engine room it's a small uh, room uh, because uh, this submarine has small engines two small engines there a uh, medium electric motor for the electric action and uh, mm, and a medium generator so um, we can take a look at the at the flood room so here we can activate the flooding of of this room through these buttons and the indicators will show if the room is flooding or if it's uh, draining and this is um, here we we turn the pump on and now we are flooding and you can see that the indicator is displaying that now the the room is flooding and here you can see the water coming out so this uh, takes uh, some time to to fill okay so one thing that i uh, did uh, here is that it has a security mechanism that when the water reaches certain level um, the doors will close automatically to prevent the rest of the submarine to to flood so um, as the water goes up you will see that even though the the, the door is open um, the door will close there you are so it closes automatically and I cannot interact with the, with the door anymore though the, 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 the bottom lights up and on and off uh, also the engine room is not we're not able to open the door so and if I change now to drain and have the door oh uh, uh, the, the door button on you will see that the door will open automatically when the water is at a certain level
we can do it with both. So both doors will open. There we are. So that's a neat um, security uh, measure we have there. Ooh, our submarine is tilting. That's not good. Okay. Okay, but the tilt... The reason I'm doing this is because... Okay, we, we want to test the... Let's test the flooding room. When we flood this uh, the room... The, the, the problem um, here is that the submarine is um you have to keep an eye on the on the tilt of the of the submarine when when this when this room is uh, fully flooded it adds weight to the back of the submarine so for example let's say i want to go diving um, for that, I don't need the, the, the room to be totally um, filled. I can just um, open the door, the hatch, down here, and it will flood very fast. So let's try that. Now we are outside the submarine. And you will see that quickly the submarine will, will change its position. And the problem is that it it will tilt backwards because it it's taking a lot of um, weight back, and we can return and turn on the pump and drain. Let's close the door, otherwise it doesn't work. Of course, you run the risk to you see that it's draining. You run the risk to um, to run out of oxygen, so you have to take care to have enough oxygen with you in the tanks. Of course, when when the when the upper part of the room is is uh, drained, then you you can. Um, Breathe again, let's say. Okay, so it's slowly training. So this mechanism allows us to have um, to make to perform uh, missions underwater. That's the idea behind this design. So you have to, um, one thing about this submarine is that uh, you have to get to know what configurations of the ballast is the best for each operation. So if the all the, ba all the ballast tanks are empty or full of air, let's say, then the, the submarine tends to tilt towards one of the of its sides and this is not um, comfortable so you always have to have some water in in the in the tanks at least the the bottom ones we have to now it's tilting because i have um, i have some water in the top tanks to perform this operation of um, going through the hatch and as soon as it uh, as the water reaches certain level I will stop the pump and get outside to because I need some water in this flood um, in this flood room to we, we are going to 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 have a configuration to go underwater okay okay so let's Okay, there we go. Now we can stop that. We can, uh, now that the submarine is tilted, um, 
we have to make some maneuvers here and you see the the configuration I had now so this this was for the for this operation so um, now we're going to go underwater oh but I I should charge should I charge uh, I don't know no let's let's the batteries are not so empty for uh, about the batteries we have a big battery and uh, several medium batteries on the back side I don't know if it's like four medium batteries or so let's see I have um, my cheat sheet here for that so for the top this should be full that other one should be full this is the case here you see the gauges are displaying the capacity of the tank and how much is it filled and then for the third we need uh, some water like 9000 in this in this tank and for the bottom the first four must be full and for the um, flood tank we should have it in 12,000 12, 12,000 so we need more we need more so this configuration is to go underwater Okay, so we are done with um, now. I have it. I have the submarine in uh, in certain configuration, and you can see that it's uh, barely, barely um, touching the surface of the water there. And uh, the thing about this um, configuration is that you want to have like the you have you you need your submarine to not be too tilted so you you have to be uh, to, to have it balanced and also you have to be careful that uh, your submarine doesn't just sinks like a rock because you you will want to uh, reach the surface again uh, to be able to fill your tanks with with air so this is an issue uh, because uh, in stormworks uh, there are no uh, compressed air uh, tanks so you always need to get uh, close to the surface to get some air so now we are going to drive forward with the electric motor right And I have uh, a control over the, as you can see, uh, I can go downwards with the fins, like the lateral, la lateral, <laughs> lateral fins, right? I got stuck there with that word. <laughs> and yeah, you see that. The, the submarine is uh, riding smoothly that I don't need um, I don't have no uh, no problem keeping it uh, at a certain depth and you can see that in the back I have a rudder as well that helps me go uh, under uh, that lets me change direction well, the vertical rotors are uh, controlling the the jaw of the of the submarine, and the horizontal one control the pitch. You can see there how I can I can uh, move the submarine. I can tilt it up and down. We should turn the external lights. Where are they? 
I always forget here. So there, these are external lights. So if we want like to explore the um, the sea floor, we can do that. So and also from the first person view it's uh, it's a nice view as well. And um, yeah that's basically ooh we are running out of battery so we should get um, to the surface and yeah get some um, energy from the from the from the diesel from the diesel engine let's uh, bring some air i think i will bring air to this uh, to the top now we are surfacing A little bit like Red October, right? <laughs> if you remember the, the film. No, nothing like that. <laughs> I don't know if we could do that, but yeah, it would be a good... So let's now uh, turn on the diesel because I'm getting nervous. With uh, Let's start the engines, right? there so the engines one of the engines is on the other one should be on as well there so now we are running on end on diesel and we are generating some power here the, you see the generator says that we're generating power and you see here that uh, that the chimneys are or the exhausts are uh, delivering some pollution <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> Where is the... Now I don't know where's my base. We should have a... A waypoint or something. That's the nuclear thing. I think the, the base is... Back here in this island. Yeah. So... The, um, we can use, the battery should be charging. Are they though? No, I, I see them. Ah, because, do we have this on? Ah, probably, ah, uh, now. Now they are charging. I had the, the electrical motor on. And I have the, 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 the impression that the electrical motor give us more speed than the, than the engines. I'm not sure. This submarine is not that fast though. There. So you see that the batteries are charging. So everything is under control now. Well, as as far as we don't run out of fuel of course okay and here you can see if we want to like turn really fast we can this is how we can do this we can turn 
with uh, with the fin propellers here. Also, if 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 we use these fin propellers, we can um, die faster because uh, the fin propellers, as you see, are controlled uh, with uh, with a rotor action. So this is also a nice feature. It gives us more control. But let's turn off this because um, we don't have that much batteries. So the reason why I have this uh, other post to, to control the submarine is because there is this other game modes where you don't have this external view and as you can see from this view here in the bridge it's really hard to to see what's going on outside and to maneuver if you are docking for example so for that reason what i did is that i i have this uh, post in the tower and the way we use it is uh, we, we get this um, engine here like to a minimum like it doesn't uh, stop three revolutions okay you have to have it at least that it's not entirely stop and you come here the trick sometimes it's tricky to to get here uh, to go outside and what you have to do is activate the hatch button to help you out so from this uh, post i have control of the submarine uh, the rudder right i can control it And also I can uh, I can give power to the to the engine to the propeller uh, with the W key. So this lets me make this uh, maneuver to dock, for example. This is uh, also a nice feature because otherwise it's really hard to. To do it from the from the bridge and if you are playing like this rock mode where you don't have any um, third person perspective then this is uh, really a must so this is the submarine from inside you can see uh, quickly how how it's configured and here at the bottom i have the large battery and all these things are um, microcontrollers i have a lot of microcontrollers to control all this display stuff here and also in the towers you can see the, the microcontrollers and these are the the, the 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 ballast tanks you can see also from the from this view you can see all the tanks so i have tanks all around and these tanks uh, they have for each of these tanks i have um, pumps you can see here the for example for uh, this uh, tank here i have the flood pump this pump uh, will pump water into the tank and the bottom one is the drain uh, pump and this is uh, basically a similar i have a similar configuration for each and every um, tank in the submarine okay so that's it i hope you enjoyed the video uh, leave a like 
if so and i hope to see you in the next one bye